We're Chris and Melissa. We've been on a slow travel adventure searching for great food and fun times to share since selling our house in 2021. Sometimes our adventures involve a bit of danger. So far, we've survived. We're spending the next 48 hours putting the Niagara Parks Pass to the test, along with a few other Canadian Niagara Falls tourist destinations. The pass includes the Floral Show House, Journey Behind the Falls, Butterfly Conservatory, Whirlpool Aero Car, and Whitewater Walk. We did voyage to the falls as an add-on. After purchasing the pass, I learned about the all-new for 2022 tunnel at Niagara Parks Power Station. The tunnel opened just a few days before we arrived. We bought passes to that along with a guided tour. After all, you know, it's new. We wanted to make sure we leisure tested it for you. I made reservations for the Trey Touristy Table Rock House Restaurant and Skyland Towers Revolving Dining Room to see if they're worth a visit. One thing I want to share before we go on our cross-border adventure is that I love how the Niagara Parks website shows about how much time everything that you do is going to take. It helps out so much with planning. I think we'll be able to do everything. Let's go! Let's put all this fun to the test. We're in Canada again! We are Niagara Falls, here we come. Even on the 4th of July, it wasn't that busy. It took us like two minutes to get through. Right, at 8.43 in the morning. I don't know how it'll be this afternoon. True, but we're not going this afternoon. That we need to go into the building here to the desk that uh, is next to the journey behind the falls. And the reason we need to is that in addition to the two day passes, we got the boat ride. So they uh -oh. can't do it at the Welcome Center there. If we didn't have the boat ride, then she could have given us the passes. Good job, bud. We arrived a bit before the ticket office opened, but that wasn't a problem. I could spend hours watching the falls. Always a danger. What's it like up there? Uh, I can't even go two feet. And this guy went from the American side to the Canadian side. And when he got to the Canadian side, the immigration officials asked, sir, what are you doing here? And he said the purpose of his trip was to inspire people around the world. It's not just inspiring me, it's scaring me. <laughs> Come on, Melissa, you can do it. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> Pro travel tip. If you arrive right at 10 a.m. and you have a ticket that includes a boat pass, get your journey behind the falls right away. All of a sudden, everybody was rushing over here right at 10 a.m. We made it through the line. It took a little over half an hour. Melissa booked everything online, but... Even after booking it online, you have to get into a line when you arrive at Table Rock so that you can get your lanyard with your pass if you also book the boat tour because they had to give us boat tickets and then we also had to get our power station tickets. So we had to go into the Journey Behind the Falls line and, you know, it took time, but they were so helpful and thorough. Yeah, yeah. But it did take about a half an hour, so... Plan on it. Plan on it. I think the danger warning is for people like that. Even from way up here, we're getting the spray of the water. Even though it's hot, doesn't it just feel refreshing looking at the water and watching it? It does. It feels very refreshing. And you get, every once in a while, a nice little effervescent love kiss. <laughs> Time for lunch. 
I've made reservations for Table Rock House Restaurant. When you make a reservation, they're supposed to prioritize your spot so that you have a view of the falls. You can't promise it, but they do their best. We'll see if they deliver. <laughs> Table Rock House Restaurant sources local ingredients and offers upscale Canadian cuisine. It's Feast On certified with the Ontario Culinary Tourism Alliance. It's strawberry, mint, cucumber, a little gin, I think. Just lemonade today. Peach lemonade. I ordered the healthy stuffed Ontario chicken breast. I decided to give the vegan power bowl a try. Lunch at Table Rock restaurant was fantastic. It was very delicious for a touristy place. You couldn't even tell it was a touristy place. No, it, it seemed like some fancy little place that was serving up some cool little things. It was very delicious. And filling, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. and, and the really. view, and the view. Exactly. Oh. You know, we've eaten at touristy type places like in Paris, and it's like, ugh, that was not good. So this was, it was interesting that it was such high quality. Oh, yes, definite them up about. Definite. <clears throat> On to the floral show house now. Wait a second, the floral show house? It's part of our two day pass. I know, but what's that have to do with waterfalls? And it's closed on Tuesday and Wednesday, and today is a Monday, so we have to go to it today. Flowers. The floral show house first opened back in 1946. Around 20,000 plants are grown each year to wow botanical lovers. Maybe not as impressive as the falls, but. I loved the creative displays. I'd say we spent a lovely 40, 45 minutes at the Floral Show House, wouldn't you? Yeah, it was short and sweet. And I really enjoyed the tree house tree. That, <laughs> that was, was cool. So that was cool. Let's see the Flower Show House. Construction began on the Canadian Niagara Power Company Generating Station in 1901. It opened in 1905 and provided hydroelectric power to the surrounding areas for 100 years. Niagara Parks opened the power station to the public in 2021. We are standing on the generator floor. This building, we refer to it as an iceberg. This is the tip of the iceberg, the floor. Everything happens below the surface in this building. If you're coming to the Niagara Parks Power Station, get the tour. Oh, that was so cool. So many cool things that we learned about this power station. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it was just an extra 10 bucks Canadian, so like $8 American per ticket, and totally worth it. Oh, well worth it. <laughs> now it's tunnel time. So this big pipe here is called a penstock. So the penstock basically carried all the water that would be collected from the river down into the power plant where it would spin a turbine. If you look over there, you can see the underneath of one of the generators. So the turbine would spin a shaft that's inside those big pipes you see there, that's a casing for it. And that would basically power the power plant. Essentially, all the water that went through the power plant we were just in would come down this tunnel, and we're walking down it. It we're is walking, so we're water cool, wet. and it's literally cool too. Literally, it was like literally. 80 degrees upstairs, and now it's like 60. Yeah. So this tunnel is about 2,200 feet long, and it goes to where the water would just go at the bottom of the falls, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, that was a little disconcerting. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. 
It is actually nice though because it gets a little creepy when you sit there and think about I'm in this tunnel 180 feet below ground <laughs> where billions of gallons of water used to flow. Falls experience thanks to being Hilton Diamond members. And we travel a lot. We are on the 37th floor. Check this out. Whoa. Tonight for date night, we are going to be going to Brasa Brazilian Steakhouse here in the hotel. And we walk by a Starbucks on our way up here in the hotel. I know, it's like when I was thinking of like the cool things we're seeing here, like, you know, Niagara Falls and then Starbucks just right <laughs> up here. So it's amazing. It's just nice and convenient. I could live here, especially with views like these. You love a good view. You want to live in hotels? It was good enough for Nikola Tesla, wasn't it? Um, it didn't end very well for Nikola. Oh, well. So. Every night at 10 p.m. from late May through early October, a fireworks display is put on above the falls. We were there on July 4th, so we had the benefit of seeing several American firework displays going off in the distance at the same time. Good morning. From Niagara Falls, Ontario. Yes, last night we had a wonderful dinner at a Brazilian steakhouse. Brasa. Brasa. Um, I tried to eat $79 worth of food. I don't think I did it. And you just had to achieve $79 Canadian. I should have been able to do it. How come I couldn't do it? Oh, it was so much. Now it's on to testing day number two of this package that Melissa researched. The first fun event on our list is the Niagara City Cruises. We're gonna board a boat, get close to the falls, get wet, although right now we're already... Yeah, I didn't fully expect to get wet this way. <laughs> so we oh, have wow. raincoats and I guess we'll get a poncho as well. So we'll be part of the team on the boat. Yes. We all look uniform. Team Canada. I kind of wish it was going to be hot and sunny because then it would be cool to get all wet. So it's just going to be redundant. <laughs> I did not know that there was an American Falls, a Bridal Falls, and then Horseshoe Falls, but I learned that. So I have learned at least one thing. I knew before we arrived. I didn't know before researching the trip. How come you didn't tell me about this? Oh, you always know so many things. I figured with all of your wisdom, you're uh, part of it. All right, all right. I'm so excited. I feel all smiling. <laughs> so you like being showered on by a huge <laughs> tidal wave of... Let's not talk about it like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to actually try not to get wet. Okay? Well, Likewise. I'm going to avoid drops. <laughs> You've seen folks in ponchos riding the boats towards the falls before, right? Voyage to the falls is the quintessential Niagara Falls experience. How could we skip it? Are you at all freaked out? Yes. Are you? How about you? No, I'm good. I'm like overall oh, I'm fine. After doing the whale watching, I'm like, how bad can this honestly be? <laughs> Also, this is like a 15-minute ride, whale watching with four hours. Yeah, you bobsled it. Come on, yeah. we can do this. Was provided after ticket is scanned. Difficult to watch the engine smell. You 
can do it. Melissa, you can do it. Melissa's having troubles. into a trash bag. <laughs> you have experience with this. <laughs> well, I was part of that trash bag theater group. <laughs> was Oscar the leader? I did it! <laughs> The adventures do not stop. Next up, journey behind the falls. Is this supposed to be scary? No, I think so. Okay. There's gonna be two tunnels. The first tunnel's gonna lead you outside to see the United States Falls. It'll bring you back inside to be under the horseshoe falls. Also watch your step when you get out of the elevator. It's very slippery, no running, no jumping. yesterday. That sure is. Seems older. I think we'll get wet here. All right, here we go. I tip, bring goggles. <laughs> that would help. really have helped right now. <laughs> the thing is, I haven't seen anybody with goggles. Life pivot, honey, life pivot. Niagara. We're gonna sell goggles at Niagara Falls. Awesome. You gotta come down here to feel the power. It's like a fan. <laughs> Journey behind the falls was pretty cool. It's one of those things you have to do it because when you're in the tunnel, there's like this. <laughs> It sounds like a fan almost, and you can just feel the thunder. Boom, boom. Did you feel it? It's a once in a lifetime. No, I totally didn't feel it at all. I have no idea what he's talking about. Clearly, he got a little closer than I did, or <laughs> no, you're was just interested like... in other things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was neat. Would you give that a up a bum? Yes. Mm. The views are amazing. Feeling the power of the water is phenomenal. I know Chris is super proud that he managed to dry his shoes with a hair dryer and borrow a pair of my socks so that his feet are kind of dry. I brought plenty of socks and a few pairs of shoes. I do remember mentioning to my husband that we were gonna get wet. But I didn't have to worry about it because you gave me an extra pair of socks. In fact, two extra pairs of socks. Thank you, honey. She's the best. It is time for the Butterfly Gardens. We are going to get on the Green Line North. It's part of our bus pass uh, to get different places. It's called the WeGo Bus. Are you excited to see butterflies? Yes. Are you? I guess. Oh, you thought it was cool in Pismo Beach. All right. You're right. We're on a bus. 
taking a bus. This is the first time on our channel we've ever been on a bus. Oh, that's right. I think. We're breaking it. Welcome everybody on board. You gotta wait till it turns green. Oh, I see. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Honey, we are just minutes away from thousands of butterflies. Over 2,000 of them. Are released every morning, they say. Into the rainforest. Well, here we have our rain gear. <laughs> More than 2,000 butterflies representing 45 species call Niagara Parks Butterfly Conservatory home. It's one of the largest glass-enclosed butterfly conservatories in North America. He likes your bag. Yeah. See, even butterflies like that bag. <laughs> true, true. This is the most magical place. It was everything I wanted it to be and more. Next up is the Whirlpool Aero Car, and then after that, Whitewater Walk. The Whirlpool Aero Car we're about to ride has been carrying passengers 3,500 feet above Niagara Gorge since 1916. We'll cross the U.S. Canadian border four times on this trip. So many cliffs in Niagara Falls. Cliffs? Yeah, cliffs everywhere. Cliff, cliff, cliff. Oh, I thought you were talking about the guy, and I have not met one man named Cliff the entire well, time. Well, you better not be trying to meet Cliffs here. Watch <laughs> Cliff. I do have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous. Likewise, but I think this has been in operation for over 100 years. We should be all right. Okay. Are you having the time of your life? I'm a little nervous because of the wind. Otherwise, it's it's good. It's nice. Very beautiful. That side was neat. Yeah, but that's all right. We got we get to see both, and so does everybody else. It's nice that they have you rotate. That's true. That was fun. Yes. Next up, the whitewater walk. another tunnel. Did not expect that. Behind us are the fastest rapids in North America. We are the only ones in all of North America that are rated a class six. That's crazy. Like the Pacific Northwest with all those mountains and there's no rapids that are faster. That blew me away. I don't know what mountains have to do with it, but Oh, they're high up and they, oh. This is just going between two lakes. Yeah, this is water coming from the Great Lakes. It's incredible. You've got to come here and check it out. Now, the water traveling here is only going at 30 miles per hour, although, oh my gosh, that's so fast. However, at the brink of the falls, 
the water is going about as fast as we did in our bobsled on the fastest track in the world. They say 109 kilometers per hour has been recorded before. Whoop-da. That's fast. Incredibly fast. Tonight, we are going to be dining at the world famous rotating restaurant right there. Obvious tip, don't leave something on the shelf here. <laughs> I did almost put my purse there and then went, oh, hold on. This is cool though, they have these little tidbits of information as you rotate. They've been very informative. Who wants to dine 775 feet above Niagara Falls with breathtaking, slowly rotating views as the sun sets? and piano music plays in the background? I do. You might be wondering, is the food equal to the views? It's tough to compete with Niagara Falls, but the French onion soup and the steaks were among the best we've had. This has been such a fabulous thumb up a bump experience. Mm -hmm, most definitely. Not only are the Niagara Falls and all the activities surrounding the Niagara Falls in Canada fantastic, but that Niagara Falls pass that I chose, it was amazing. It worked like, out. I did an amazing job you, on that. You're pretty amazing when it comes to planning. You're pretty amazing at all things, really. There's that. <laughs> now beyond the package, we did other things. Uh, yeah, we did. We had some good meals. We just took some long walks. We got some exercise in. It was a good time. The power plant, that was beyond the package, wasn't it? It was, although I believe there's a package you can yeah, get it yeah. in. Just make sure that you also book the tour because it's worth it. Yes, You get yes. so much more out of it. Hashtag not sponsored, okay? I know we're gushing about it. I know it seems like, oh, maybe, but no. Did you just, We're not that big of a deal. Did you just do hashtag not sponsored? It's it's like what the cool people do, right? Okay, like I haven't heard it specifically on other travel channels, but I think I've seen it on Instagram. There's this thing called a hashtag. It's like this, and it says stuff after Isn't it. Isn't that the pound sign? Yeah, same thing. Isn't that wild? Okay. It turned into <laughs> a cheese ball factory. Good job, Melissa. Good job, Chris. We love spending time in Canada. I think it's our favorite place in the world. Yeah, check out all these other places that we've gone in Canada and had a ton of fun. They're over here. Mm -hmm.